Welcome to the Nicholas 11 X12 technology. Today I'm comparing the current Ivy Bridge flagship against the previous generation Sandy Bridge flagship. So the Intel Core i7-3770K versus the Intel Core i7-2700K. These two CPUs offer great performance but in this video I'd like to demonstrate to you how much of a difference there actually is between these two. Now before we jump into the comparison benchmarks let's take a look at the specifications of these processors. The i7-3770K is an Ivy Bridge CPU that has a base clock of 3.5 GHz and a turbo clock of 3.9 GHz. It features the new Intel HD 4000 graphics and has a TDP of 77 watts. It's manufactured with the 22 nanometer process and this CPU offers 1 MB of level 2 cache and 8 MB of level 3 cache. It also supports DDR3 1600 memory natively. And the i7-2700K is a Sandy Bridge CPU that has a base clock of 3.5 GHz and also a turbo clock of 3.9 GHz. It features the Intel HD 3000 graphics and has a TDP of 95 watts. It's manufactured with the 32 nanometer process and offers 1 MB of level 2 cache and 8 MB of level 3 cache. It only supports DDR3 1333 memory natively. But now let's move on to the benchmarks. This is my test system. Alright, let's start with 3D Mark Vantage at the performance preset. The 3770K scored 27,973, so almost 28,000, while the 2700K scored 26,485, which is almost 26,500. So yes, there definitely is a difference, but of course the 2700K offers great performance as well. But let's just move on to 3D Mark 11 at the performance preset and see what the system score looks like. Yes, you see right, the older 2700K outperforms the 3770K with 5 points in this benchmark. This is kinda mysterious, but it's true. Of course 5 points never make a difference in real world situations, but let's say they perform equally here. This was tested with the GTX 560 non-TI version by the way. In Cinebench release 11.5, the 3770K scored 7.97 points, while the 2700K scored 7.59 points. So, not much of a difference here as well, but you'll notice that extra speed when it comes to rendering. In ADA64, cache and memory benchmark will compare the memory bandwidth. I use the exact same memory kit at the same settings and frequencies. So the CPU's memory controller can only make the difference here. The new 3770K's memory controller is slightly faster as you can see. The 2700K is fast too, but again the latest processor is still faster. You can see that there on the latency. The 3770K is 5 nanoseconds faster than the i7-2700K. So yes, it'll access the memory and even transfer faster. In SuperPi, I'll let the CPU calculate 1 million calculations and both CPUs are done in roughly 9 seconds. The 3770K is slightly faster, but there's almost no real difference. In the W Prime benchmark, I'll let the CPU calculate 32 million integers, and there is a difference. Also, not a big one, but it's there. The 3770K was done in 6.941 seconds, while the 2700K was done in 7.271 seconds. When it comes to games like Dirt 3 at 680 by 1050 on ultra settings, the 3770K has an average FPS of 59 FPS which is 1 FPS lower than the older 2700K CPU. But again, in real life the eye wouldn't notice the difference. Maybe I should run something more demanding like Battlefield 3 at 1680x1050 on ultra settings but with MSAA turned off and the AF low to 1x. The average frame rate is 64 FPS with the 3770K while the 2700K got 60 FPS. Again, not much of a difference. But we also shouldn't forget the integrated graphics of these two processors. I only ran a single test in 3D Mark Vantage at the performance preset. The 3770K with the Intel HD 4000 graphics scored 3367, while the 2700K scored only 1806, which is a lot lower. So the new HD 4000 graphics from Intel is a huge step forward because it's almost twice as good as the older HD 3000 graphics. But still the graphics processing is not strong enough to handle modern games like Battlefield 3 or so at acceptable settings and frame rates. Another interesting topic would be the temperature. I know lots of people are complaining about the high Ivy Bridge temperatures, but there's really nothing to complain here. On idle both CPUs run at 28 degrees Celsius which are 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. On load the 3770K runs at 68 degrees Celsius which are 154 degrees Fahrenheit. 
and the 2700K runs only one degree cooler than the new so-called hot Ivy Bridge CPU. The 2600K is different, it's a lot cooler, but the 2700K runs fairly warm and so you can't really say Ivy Bridge in general runs hot. The ambient room temperature was at 22 degrees Celsius when I ran the tests, which are 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Now to the last test, the power consumption. On idle the 3770K draws around 60 watts while the 2700K draws 13 watts more, so 73 watts. That's actually quite impressive for the idle power usage. On low there's even a bigger difference of 32 watts. The 3770K only draws 132 watts on load while the older 2700K CPU draws 164 watts from the wall. There's a massive difference when it comes to the power consumption. But overall if you already own a Sandy Bridge processor like the i7-2700K you wouldn't necessarily need to upgrade as there's not much of a difference when it comes to performance. But if you're planning to upgrade from an older build you should definitely consider buying an Ivy Bridge CPU like this high-end i7-3770K for example. Anyways I hope I could help you out with this quick comparison. The 3770K won of course but not by far. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.